Greetings. Uh, this is Brian, amateur radio call sign W9CR, and today I'm going to show a couple little things I've been working on here, um, specifically for the um, the MX800 base station uh, by Spectra Engineering. I picked up a number of these uh, for the 220 megahertz uh, band, well, 218. It's uh, part of a passport trunking system, and they they interface very nicely. They have a very hot receiver. Um, they're a great little base station, but they're a little bit different than what I'm used to. Um, there's certainly a learning curve there, and um, we're using it as a, just an analog repeater, but one of the things that these base stations were lacking, because they were for passport trunking, was that they um, didn't have a PL. Now, I could use All Star, uh, and I could use the, the DSP, in All Star to uh, basically do this in in the software on the Raspberry Pi. However, one of the things I'm working with is the um, uh, board that allows me to have a watchdog on the uh, the radio, and this allows me to take the uh, MX and just say, "Hey, change frequency," because it has a built-in repeater control little has an audio path, has amplifiers, has all that stuff built in. So um, I wanted to have uh, PL uh, when this happened and uh, one of the problems is they use a very old, very unobtainium chip um, by uh, MXCOM and uh, it's called an FX or MX805 and the dip package from uh, some research I've done was only manufactured for Spectra Engineering. So uh, they're out there, they're just very hard to find. They require a dip package. Uh, I was able to get a number of the chips uh, for a few bucks a piece uh, from China. And there's a couple failures in the bunch, but uh, the problem is they're a PLCC24, which isn't a standard PLCC package size even. So um, I got those and made a little um, board and I think I have it right back here. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so I made a little board for testing. And that's, uh, if you can see, that's the board there. It's about as good as it's going to get, I think. So, that was a little board I made just for testing, making certain proof of concept work. Now, you only need one to do encode and decode of CTCSS. However, um, you do lose a little bit of functionality with just the, the one chip in there. Um, when you run two chips, uh, you're allowed to do DCS and encode um, and decode multiple CTCS at the same time, uh, which is kind of neat. So what I did is I developed a little board and uh, got it manufactured right there. Can see that. I don't know why it won't pick up, but uh, it's pretty small. So it's kind of advantageous because it allows you to use the same board for put two chips on it. It does full duplex CTCS uh, and DPL uh, or DCS and if you put one chip on it, it allows you to do just the, the single um, uh, PL uh, encode. So uh, I got those up, <laughs> got tracing around to figure out how to get this thing to do DCS and built a number of these up. Um, there you can see with uh, both chips on it. And it just uh, pops in the socket, which is kind of neat. This takes up a lot less space than the, uh, the other one. Um, the, the actual one from Spectra. So, uh, and they, they just want an obscene amount of money for it, quite frankly. The, the quote I got on it was, uh, was just ridiculous. So, anyways, I made this up. <laughs> one of the things I ran into is, um, you know, the, these uh, radios have a, uh, a light on them, and uh, I'll show it over here. Let me turn around so you can see the radio. Okay, so this is the radio here. Get my light out of here. And have it set up in DCS right now and it's actually doing DCS you can see the little radio here 
Kenwood I have. It's got DCS turned on. But you'll notice the CTCS light doesn't come on. That's normal. That drove me a little crazy. But this is it. It's all working. I have it uh, set up with the Raspberry Pi inside here. Let's see if I can uh, show that. It's a little bit of a... Uh, here's our voice circuit going in there. And it's actually underneath all these guys here. Let me pull this up. And it goes in right back there. So this is your CTCS. And I, I, I run Simple USB uh, because I have it available. And uh, at some point I'll put uh, a audio delay in here as well. But uh, that's the setup. And that's a uh, MX800 base station doing uh, DPL. Audio sounds a little weird. I haven't adjusted the audio yet, but you know, I'm just doing the uh, uh, proof of concept type thing. So that's the base station, and uh, it's set up with uh, one of these guys in it. So it's uh, it's sad they want that much money, but I understand they're in business, and you know, quite frankly, it takes a lot of time to put something like this together. So uh, I can see why. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Showing the MX800 encoding DPL. Test, test, test. test, test, test. See the turn off code.